All right, what's going on guys? Uh, so, didn't realize this video uh, or post came out about six hours ago. Uh, had a couple of people uh, send me uh, tweets notifying me of this. Um, <laughs> it's 2 a.m. in the morning here in Australia, so um, yeah, interesting. But um, yeah, so obviously this would have come out around about 8 p.m. Uh, my time, roughly. Uh, probably a little bit earlier than that. 7.19 p.m. apparently, so nearly seven hours ago. But anyway, um, I will let you all watch this video of finally some Tennis World Tour 2 gameplay. I haven't seen this yet either, so here we go. Hi everyone, and welcome to the first gameplay video of Tennis World Tour 2. We're going to show off some of the new features that improve the sensations and realism you'll feel when playing the game. Let's go! The first big change is that you'll need to hit the ball with perfect timing to optimize your strike and make it harder to return. If you master this timing, you can shorten the rally and score more points. We've also improved the serve system. A new gauge has been added to adjust the toss. You can toss it perfectly straight or release it more to the left or right. Tennis World Tour 2 is built with a new engine, which allowed us to double the number of player animations. As a result, the game flows much better, with a real sense of impact for each strike, building into a satisfying rhythm throughout each rally. This makes the gameplay much more dynamic, increasing the pace of the game and the opportunities for you to show off your skills. The double match is one of the new additions, opening up new ways to play. You'll be able to play this mode with three friends, and don't worry about arguing whether the ball is in or out. With a new replay system, you'll be able to show the video and put an end to any disagreements. Thanks for watching the video and stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing, like a, a couple of people that uh, mentioned this video to me was this right here at the end. It says Big Ant Studios. Um, so, that's yeah I, I I don't really know what to make of that because like I did did read in the first uh, sort of news on this like this parent sequel sequel which none of us thought was coming um, and yeah they they said uh, it wouldn't be the same developer but uh, like I don't know if this means that Big Ant is the developer or if they're the publisher or or what because uh, well it says oh no it, excuse me it says right at the bottom developed by Nakon Nakon I don't know how you pronounce that and developed by Big Ant Studios I just looked at that then and I was like oh yeah I'm an idiot um, so Big Ant has done AO Tennis uh, two and seemingly. Uh, I, yeah, it, it's really confusing. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure what to make of this because, well, I suppose this would explain why we've seen absolutely no further enhancements for AO Tennis 2. Ugh. I really don't understand what I'm yeah I'm actually a little bit speechless um, in terms of what how how, how all this has happened um, but um, so obviously something that never came into the first tennis world tour game was the doubles scenario uh, or option um, I will say based on the gameplay like short gameplay video it does like it, it does look a bit better than the original um it's still i don't know it, it still doesn't look very impressive but it at least looks a little bit more more a little bit more fluid than the first game uh obviously a lot of people will be focusing on the graphics which in all in all honesty they don't look that great they look more or less like the first game um so yeah i don't know um this is really strange to, to be talking about uh considering big ants evolved with it 
Um, I yeah, I did not see that coming at all. Uh, but uh, so, like, this is the first bit of news we've had since I and initially did the video, like, you know, letting people know that this was a thing about. Uh, it was probably about three months ago, almost three months ago now. No, three, two months ago. I think it was, I think it was May that I did a video uh, talking about it, and then we haven't heard anything since until this moment. Uh, and everyone's starting to wonder, like, is it we going to see the same situation as we did with the first game, where we barely saw anything up until release, and then when it was released, it was missing a number of its promised features. Uh, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen this time but um we'll find out in september we still don't have a date but i would assume well, if i had to guess i'd say probably late september um uh, yeah i really don't know but i suppose we'll see what happens